Yo yo yo, what's up everyone, it's your boy VBS here and today I show you how to make a sexy as fuck motion track and yeah, I, before we start I wanna say that my English isn't the best so I'm really sorry if you don't, if you don't understand me so yeah, let's start uh, of course you need your cinematic where you wanna like a motion track then just track it to this one it's making it like composition and second stuff what you need to do is like just right click and track camera but I'm gonna do like this wait wait a second so it's not like a you see it's like stopping there so yeah okay now uh, right click and track camera it will take a little bit but yeah I'll leave it back then when it's done So yeah, now we're done tracking those and you can see there's like this kind of little dots or I don't know what are those axes. So yeah, and then you go find where you want to put this logo or dex or what you want. Example, I put my dex example there. Then just a right click and create solid and camera. Then you get this kind of box there. Of course you can scale it up a little bit so you can like make it bigger and shit. Now press B to get position and then just hide it. You don't need this anymore. And now make your text. Example I make tutorial. Tutorial. Hide tutorial text this. Uh, make new solid. I name it element. Then go find element 3D. Uh, you got the element 3D, then go wait a second. Uh, custom layers, then uh, custom text and mask, you put your text there. And then you go custom texture maps, you put your cinematic there. It gives like an inferior I don't know, it's, I will show you what it is. Okay, now extrude it, and there you go, you got your fight text. And this one I'm talking about with this cinematic. You just click this one and this, and it gives like a nuka down, like a, some kind of like colors. And what I usually do, I usually like click this bevel, of course, it's maybe like this, then just open it click pivot and I usually put this to 50 and this 50 so it gives like this kind of reflection uh, texts so yeah and then press ok and yeah then of course you, if you got uh, positions there then uh, go element solid click group 1 particular replicator and copy toes to tear Example, this is 2.2, 10,000, and like this. Like this. Wait a second. Oops, it's a type wrong. Like this, you can see there's a little text. And then, if, it, if text is that tiny or small then just click particle look and you can see particle size and just drag it up that you can see it I put this like 75 okay now it's like a very low because this rotation isn't right now go to track solid let's add to get orientation stuff 
And now do the same stuff what you did for Poshitian. But this time you open the rotation stuff and copy those there. Those three. Like this. And see. Okay, this is not perfect. Action. I just gonna get this small. This pretty good like this. And now you can see decks are like a motion deck. It's like it's not moving or anything. Okay. Uh, one stuff more. What I usually do is uh, I call lightning. You can choose what you want. I usually use natural. It gives like kind of light effect on it. It just mix it up a little bit. Like what you like most. Let's do it. Simple this. And other stuff what you I usually do is ambient occlusion. It gives like a little bit shallow on deck. My decks are so big it won't give so much like shadow. That's why I opened this one and put Tartan pace one point. Or I mean one point two. I mean point two, no one point. Okay, and usually what I do is that I'm I'm making shadow on the wall, so I go to scan set up, create, and I create new plane. You can see, then just drag it like when you can see like it's on like this. You can see it's not like an example like this. You must like do this, drag it up a little bit. And orientation, you put minus 90, so it's like a wall. Then just write it like a little bit in text. Like it's, it shows then like it's on a wall, like in wall, you know. Then if you got this, you go proceeds, physical, physical, and um, matter shadow. So it you can see it demo, and it gives like this kind of shadow eff effect, like you can see in there. Like the, this black stuff. Okay, this is kind of too much. This shit. Drag it a little bit down. Let's do three and five, six and six. No, six to six. Six. Yeah, I know my decks are a little bit too big. So uh, what I usually do then I go this option. Scroll down. Of course, check people first, and you can see a Q amount. I usually put this like. 1 8 so it gives more effect now you can see there's like more more this stuff and yeah you can like fix it up a bit what looks best okay, this is kind of clean but like yeah i can get like a shadow from it so Uh, um, okay, you can see there's like a wall, what if like it looks kind of weird if you look like this, what you you must do is like, you go this layer, this cinematic, you copy paste it so you make like a, yeah you know what, and yeah then you delete camera, you go, you go to mask lay, mask stuff, then just mask it out. I do fast, so yeah. So, it's not the perfect one. So yeah, like this. Of course you can change the color if you don't like this. Example, I do light blue, I mean, light blue. So it's kind of, you can see it better. And what I usually do is, I drag it up there. Drag up there. I put this to 50, so you can see where it goes. Then press M to mask path. Then keyframe it. Go like maybe like that much. Then just drag it there, so it's it's taking this out of. Or I don't know what letter is from me for you. So it's it's not in a, for this wall anymore. Check it, so it's good. 
and go again like this example and just drag there. Then again check, yeah everything is okay. And again, same. Always must check that it's on line of it. If it's not, it's slowing wires again. And you don't you and you don't want it, trust me. Yeah, now you can see it's a kind of clear, so I can just fix it up a bit. That's it. Okay. And now you press D to get the shitty and drag it up. And there you go. Your decks are like behind of this wall. That's easy. Now you can just select oh oh no say fuck this control a pre compile put this on the main comp zoom it in a little bit make it like nicer a little bit put sharpen on it mm. let's change this stuff so 15 there you go in a motion drag and really uh, everything is same with the logo okay I can show you with the logo do wait a second I go get the, some logo let's go open it no it's not there hmm let's take it there logo like this. let's take it there logo example drag it in and I'm that kind of lazy guy who just use auto trace. It's like you go layer, auto trace, you copy those settings, and it's like you can see there. And then just press OK. And it's masking it automatically. And that now go element. Like I got the text already. I can delete it. I got put their logo there. There you go, you got their logo, it's the same stuff. I show you how to make it. Yeah, look. it's actually the old same stuff like you made, like in a text. Maybe this one I'm gonna scroll it down, size slip it down, so it's not that big. Maybe scale it, like make it be a little bit bigger, so it's not that kind of stupid. Scale it up like this so it's bigger, bigger and nicer. There you go. Your motion track stuff. 2D is actually like a little bit different. I can show you how to make 2D stuff too. Let's take this there logo again. There. Let's delete the maskers. I, I like I must delete masks. Then just toggle switch modes. Just click this, and you can see this core there. It's making 3D layer. Just click this. Now it's uh, like a 3D recipe to get Poshidian. Open track solid two, and then just copy those stuff there. For example, like this. No, no, I'm just, no like this. 3,000, 20, like there, you can see there's their logo now, now rotation stuff, same stuff, see there, and now on this scale up, and 
there you go, it's your QD motion jack. And usually people I have asked how the hell I make like so many nice 2D stuff, for example in a red recommend challenge for they make. I just you can just mix it up like as simple like this or feel now being like maybe sort of rage, you know. Or something like this. You just mix it up a little bit and you get it. And there you go. And of course you can put the shadow on it so it making it like a little bit real drop shadow it's soft like you can see shit example like this then I also put like a 25 it's like gives like blurry stuff there you go this one one motion drag tutorial okay guys I really I appreciate that, that you check this video out. And yeah, if you got any other idea what tutorials should I make, then just DM me or comment below. And don't forget to drop the like and subscribe if you're new. And I really wanna thank you guys already for this kind of support that you have given me. Like yeah, let's keep up this great work again. And yeah, peace guys.